I used to be a DevOps engineer for a few years. Uh, on later stages, I managed an SRE team actually for a large fintech uh, company. And during this time, my team, myself, experienced a lot of uh, access requests, trending uh, Q&A requests that uh, usually came on a chat interface. Slack, you know, a developer needs something, he will approach us on the on-call channel. And instead of focusing on innovation, we found ourselves um, answering to this uh, request all the time non-stop uh, context switching. So back then I decided to create a chatbot. I connected this chatbot to all of the organizational tools. And you know, just like any workflow automation tool, flash commands, and basically we reduced the uh, training request by 70%. So instead of approaching to us, what the developers will do is uh, to approach to the bots to get what it is that they want. Kubi is a more advanced version of what I just said. It's basically able to extract the intention from the end user, convert it to what we call a workflow, while this workflow is not a traditional workflow which requires all of the context, but if it doesn't get the context that it needs, it will just ask for it. So imagine instead of a workflow uh, in a traditional way, a simple conversation in a chat window. So I'm a developer, I want some configuration change, I want to, where are my logs, stuff like that. It could be simple, it could be complex. You will just ask for it, we extract the intention, and if something in your English sentence is missing, we're able to ask the relevant questions to fill the gap. Essentially, we are able to solve this intention and give full auditing capabilities to the DevOps on the other side to know which workflows you should create. So over the time, the organizational knowledge are bounded inside the virtual assistant, and the developers and DevOps are free to work on whatever it is that they want,